What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital. We're here with Seti Coscarella, CEO of TAT Global Alternatives. Nice to have you back, Seti. How are you doing today? Good, Aaron. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Excited to chat. So it's been a while since we last spoke last year. Um, can you start by giving us an update on the company and everything you've been up to since we've last chatted? Sure thing. So I think the company has been progressing uh, extraordinarily well uh, over the last number of months. Uh, we've really started to build a tremendous team down in Las Vegas, and I think they've been executing uh, very, very well, uh, especially over the last number of months. So uh, production is going really well. Sales is really starting to expand. Uh, we're starting to increase the number of stores. Uh, we're really you know, trying to put our shoulder into international distribution as well. So I really think everything's firing on all cylinders from a business standpoint, and I think that you know, we're a much better company today uh, than we were e even last month. So, you know, I'm pretty pleased with how things have been uh, been evolving. Awesome. So now let's talk a little bit about your numbers. So wholesale reorders account for now 48% of TAT's sales volume in the U.S. for fiscal Q1 2022. This seems to be some very positive news. What does this mean for TAT? Listen, I think it's tremendous. And it's a number that... It's kind of exactly where you'd want it to be, right? We, we have two primary focuses. One is expand the store count. Two is make sure that you service the stores that you have so that they're churning through the product and reordering. And this demonstrates exactly that. So I think we're adding stores at a faster and faster rate. And we're, we're doing a great job of uh, servicing all of the accounts that we have. And that's where you start to see this reorder rate happening. So that, that really tells me that the product is starting to sell through uh, at the retail level, um, that people are coming back and, and starting to ask for TAT. And that's where, where you start to get the reorder. And that, I think, really helps to demonstrate the long-term viability of the product and the overall success that I think this company can achieve. Yeah, it's exciting to see. So TAT is now sold in more than 2,000 stores in the U.S. and 31 states. First off, congratulations on this milestone as you continue to achieve record numbers. What's next for the company? Well, I think for us, uh, especially in the U.S., we want to really continue an aggressive expansion um, to try to get into as many stores as, as possible, just because I think that there's pent up demand um, for this product amongst smokers. So we want to make sure that, uh, you know, the, the one of the objectives for the company is, you know, globally, if you smoke, we want to make sure that you can find TAT. And that entails putting the product in everywhere that sells cigarettes. So I think that's really our overarching goal. Um, obviously, it's a, a mountain to climb and you kind of take mm -hmm. it one step at a time. But I think that we've been able to show that we you know, have the capacity to do that. And, you know, one saying I always like to, to use is going from zero to one is magic. Going from one to 100 is math. I think we've already gotten past the magic part. Now we're in the math part. So, you know, I think we have a model that works. I think that we have the right people in place to help build out and execute on the strategy. And I think we've been able to demonstrate that. So, you know, going forward, I want to be able to, you know, continuously add more and more stores throughout the U.S. and really establish a viable footprint uh, over in Europe. So to cover that. So when it comes to specific markets, where do you see the biggest potential right now for TAT? Well, I think the U.S., uh, which is really our home base, uh, is obviously of paramount importance to us. And we're spending a lot of uh, time and resources to try to really commercialize it uh, within uh, within the continental U.S. But we've started to see uh, a lot of interesting demand coming in out of Europe. So from wholesalers, retailers, again, I mean, I've, I've shared this a few times, like we've sent sample mm -hmm. products over. They've all tried it. They've liked it. And the way that uh, a number of these deals tend to work sometimes is you'll have wholesalers that'll come in. Uh, they'll typically want some territory exclusivity for the countries that they service. So really it just becomes an exercise in figuring out, you know, who's going to be the best partner for us. How can we work together, not only with them, but, you know, even include other interested parties within that territory so that we, again, we can service, you know, as many smokers as possible. And I think that, going forward, Europe's going to be a tremendous opportunity for us. Um, just because of the, the overall smoking incidence rate tends to be higher in Europe than it is in North America. Um, not that I categorize this product as a hemp cigarette, but hemp cigarettes in Europe 
have had a longer runway than they've had in the US. So the market is already educated and aware of them. The biggest challenge they have with the product is the taste. And I think with TAT, and the reason there's been so much excitement uh, overseas is that we've solved that fundamental pain point for consumers. And that's why we're getting so much interest from wholesalers and retailers. So now that we've actually landed some product in the UK, it's starting to get placed into stores. And we're, back, we're in active discussions through our distribution partners with a number of um, large retail chains. And hopefully we'll have you know, some exciting news to announce uh, in the coming weeks on, on where our friends in Europe will be able to find TAP. It's going to be an exciting year for you guys. So what's the one thing you're most excited about for TAT in the near term or you know, your main catalyst? Well, again, I think it's really a two-pronged approach. I mean, we've got, I think, tremendous uh, wind at our back in the U.S. And I think that, you know, the, the sales are really getting full with wind over in Europe as well. So uh, it's definitely exciting times. And, you know, above and above and beyond, I think it really is a testament to sort of the, the people that we put in place to manage um, the business. I think they're doing a, a tremendous job. And they're really executing phenomenally well. So I'm excited to see how TAT progresses over the next 12 to 18 months. Me too. I'm excited to cover it. So where's the best place to find more information about the company or where should you know investors go? So they can always go to tatglobal.com or you can follow us on social at tatglobal. Uh, you can also check out some of our product related messaging at TriTAT or you can follow us at TriTAT as well. Well, thank you so much, Seti. You know, we've covered you guys from day one. Looking forward to continuing to cover you guys throughout the year and best of luck with everything. Thank you, Aaron. Always a pleasure. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself, this video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you wanna know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.